Hey y'all, this is J. Maria, J. Marie Booklist, and today I'm coming to talk to you about learning to ask for help as a health unit coordinator. Now, one of the things that will be an ongoing theme as far as being a health unit coordinator is asking for help. You know, there are times where you were taught something, you know, during orientation, and it never came up until six months later. And now, you know, you remember they said something to you about it, but you don't really remember the steps on how to do it. That's when you ask for help. You either ask another health unit coordinator or you ask a nurse or a director, who, whoever, you know, who may know the answer. That's who you that's who you ask. You don't sit there and not do it. OK, you learn to ask for help. Get your pride out the way. Yeah, you've been there six months, you've been there a year. There are just some things that are not an everyday occurrence. You know, they're, they are a once-in-a-while occurrence. You know, some things are a once-a-week occurrence. Some things are a once-a-month occurrence, you know. But if you don't remember, you need to learn to ask for help. Perfect example is, let's say a doctor gives a nurse a verbal order for a x-ray procedure. And the nurse comes to you and asks you, you know, hey, can you help me put this order in because I can't, you know, I tried to put it in myself and I can't find it. Can you help me put it in? Your answer should be okay. Your answer should never be, I don't know. I never put this order in. I don't know. You know, we do it every now and then, you know, because it might be one of those orders once every three months, you know. No, you help that nurse. So if the two of you together can't figure it out, then you ask for help. Now, who do you go to and ask for help? Do you do you ask the charge nurse? Do you ask? No. You call down, you will call down to the radiology department and ask them, how do I put this order in? See how easy that was? So, they, you ask for help. You, you tried it. They tried it. Now, let's go to the person who knows. It's radiology. They know how to put, you know, they, they'll tell us the correct way to put the order in. And then it's done. So, you know, you got to get your pride out the way, you know, you haven't done it and you haven't put that order in in six months. You need to learn how to ask for help. And there's always someone somewhere willing to help you. You know, I have a nurse. Um, there's this, this equipment that we need for a certain procedure that's like every three, four months, you know, we might have a patient come through. And she called me and she said, hey, do you remember how we ordered that you know that supply that we needed and i said hold on just a minute and i ran to the break room and into my mailbox and i had wrote it down on a piece of paper and then taped it inside my mailbox because i knew that eventually someone was going to need that order again and the way that we order it and you know to get it from central supply it is like totally totally different so what we what we call it and what it's, it's, it is in the system is like nowhere near the same thing. So I wrote it down and then I taped it and put it inside my mailbox. So that when she called again, because she did call again, because one day it was, you know, one day and then it was the next day. No, I'm sorry, it was one day. We figured it out and then she needed it again the next week. And um, I had wrote it down and had it in my mailbox and then she called me now maybe six months later. Because, you know, we don't remember how to order that. But because I had wrote it down and had it in my mailbox, when she called and asked for help, I was able to help her. So, you know, that's just one of these things. That you, you just got to get past your pride and thinking that you're going to remember everything because you won't remember everything. And, you know, get past that you know everything because you don't know everything. Like I said, there are things that will be an everyday occurrence. Some things be a once a week occurrence, a once a month occurrence, and then some every blue moon occurrence. And if you don't remember, or if you don't know how to do it, just ask for help. So if you have any comments, questions, you can put them below. You can also follow me on my blog, it's uh, jmariebooklist.com. That's where I talk about all the great things about being a health unit coordinator. And um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye.